Most of the units of our MOOC feature a short video portrait of a person we find of particular interest, who is somehow linked to the topic under discussion, in some cases very obviously and directly, in other cases maybe more tangentially so. On this occasion, though, we want to make an exception and introduce to you not a historical figure, but a historical object and a virtual one at that, the really rather interesting and in its own way quite famous Utah teapot. Utah is of particular significance to computer graphics because it was at the University of Utah's computer science department in the 1970s that several of the milestones in rendering were developed under the aegis of Ivan Sutherland and David C. Evans. In fact, we mention this in our portrait of Ivan Sutherland, which you'll find in the unit on computer-aided design, CAD. One of the researchers working with Sutherland and Evans was a computer scientist named Martin Newell. He was doing his PhD when he developed the algorithm for what became known as the Utah teapot, which is why it is also sometimes referred to as the Newell teapot. The Utah teapot is a mathematical model of a teapot, as it happens a standard consumer product made by the German manufacturer Milita. Newell was working with a team of scientists on developing computer graphics and he was after an everyday object he could use as a reference model to test and simulate light and shade behaviour, particularly on curved surfaces without texture. Apparently. It was Newell's wife Sandra who suggested using their tea set for the purpose. Newell's 3D model of his teapot was one of the first to use Bezier curves, curves that are defined by sets of discrete control points. They, in turn, are named after French engineer Pierre Bezier, who was not alone but instrumental in describing them in the 1960s while working for the car maker Renault. Back in Utah in 1975, Martin Ewell decided to put his code for the teapot's geometry into the public domain, and so very soon other researchers in the field of computer graphics started to use the object as a reference model, and since then it has been a component in every major rendering and modelling programme. And as a result, it has been referenced by making appearances in all manner of settings, including the feature film Toy Story, an episode of the TV series The Simpsons, and in The Sims 2 computer game. The original real-life teapot now sits in a collection at the Computer History Museum in Mountain View, California, and you can still buy a new one from the manufacturers. They, as it happens, didn't realise that their ordinary household tea canna, the household teapot as it was known, had become famous and only renamed it Utah Teapot in 2017. And if you look closely and compare the physical object to its 3D model, you may notice one significant difference, apart from its materiality. The real-life object is in fact a third taller than the 3D model. It was one of Newman's colleagues, Jim Blinn, himself known particularly for the Blinn-Fong shading technique, which we explain in a little bit of detail in the Atlas of Digital Architecture, who had experimentally scaled the Utah teapot to its squatter appearance, simply to demonstrate that it could be manipulated in this way. The team preferred the new look and so it was retained as the standard. It is perhaps impossible to quantify the impact of a single computer graphics model, but as recently as 2017, a writer for online magazine Curiosity, Joni Folletto, called it the most important object in computer graphics. What is certain is that it was a pioneering Newell and his team at Utah played through innumerable test renderings of the teapot, continuously improving it, and over time it has been an immensely influential object that, over half a century now, has also become 
in its very own right, subtly but genuinely iconic.